All right, here we go. All right, good morning. Um, bright and early, it is what, 8.30? Got here at about uh, 7.45, 8 o'clock. Um, so the game plan today is going to be to fix this. See, there's all kinds of stuff in here that I need to go through, so I'm going to be doing that today. Lots of work, lots of organizing. Um, Phil said that there were things that needed to be thrown out, there were things that needed to be sold, kept. So it's my job to go through here and uh, identify which is which. I'm thinking I need to get this table out of here. These two racks can probably be switched for over here, so we can put some kind of area over there where we have inventory or you know employee only area um and then move the desk in here i need a place to come where i can close the door and have some peace and quiet to myself because i'm going to be doing cold calling i'm going to be doing you know speaking to clients on the phone prospects um i'm going to be uh you know, focusing on B2B sales, uh, business to business sales, because right now this company is only doing B2C, business to consumer, business to customer, uh, whatever you want to call it. So um, we're going to be branching out uh, again and revisiting B2B sales. Um, so there's going to be a lot of private conversations that need to be take that need, you know, take place. And I just need a private area where I can do that type of business. Um, so I'm thinking that having an office where, um, you know, I'm able to shut the door, have conversations, do my thing, um, and then, you know, the employees are able to work out there um, is going to be ideal. I'm thinking that the predator here is my laptop. I think that's what I'm going to go for. It seems like, I mean, it's got an i7 in there, an Intel i7. Um, I'm thinking, you know, it's it's robust. It's a gaming laptop, um, but it's gonna it's gonna have the capabilities to do everything that I need it to do. So I'm thinking that that's probably gonna be my best bet. Um, another thing on the agenda today, I need to order a vlog camera. <laughs> um, so I've been looking at some cameras and there's a, a Canon. I don't remember the exact name of the camera. I probably should have looked it up before I started this video. Um, but I'm thinking that I'm going to order that camera today. It's funny, actually. I was talking to Phil and I'm like, hey, we need a legit vlog camera dedicated to this YouTube channel. Um, you know, I'm looking at one. It's about 700 bucks, six fifty, seven hundred dollars Um He's like, dude, I don't even care. I don't even care. Just order it. Anyway, I'm going to get to work, start organizing things, setting things in motion, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. So, <laughs> it's done. A lot has happened the last two days. Um, got all of the stuff out of here. Got this place completely rearranged. And now it is, well, half half of an office, really. You know, we, had, we still have the shelves in here um, and all of that. But, hey, it's coming along. Oh, and also... Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the dust in this room or what, because I, uh, I actually, <laughs> there's been a fair amount of dust as, as I have been cleaning in here. 
Um, but I've got all like, I got a sore throat, I'm all stuffy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I hope I'm not getting sick. I really hope I'm not getting sick because there's too much work to be done. Anyway, um, got all set up in here. So I'm getting ready to uh, get my, get my uh, strategy on and start strategizing, uh, writing content for both Facebook, emails, and the website. Um, so the idea of um, taking a company from, you know, never really doing much in terms of marketing um, it's been a company has been very lucky. Computer Central has been very lucky in the sense that they have never had to do much marketing. Um, but that's going to change, right? Because I'm here and uh, I, I like to think of myself as pretty damn good at marketing. Um, so like I said, the strategy is to really form presence, uh, brand this company as something, right? Uh, we need to give it an identity. Um, and I think that's what a lot of companies suffer from is not really having, you know, they do, they do a thing and they provide a service, but they don't really have an identity. Um, and that's, that's, you know, ultimately what I'm here for, to give this place an identity. We're redoing the entire store out there. It's going to be all redone. Um, it's going to look super modern, super sleek, uh, and, you know, right now we attract a lot of old folks, which is, uh, you know, not a bad thing, I would say. But, but you know, it's, we, we want to appeal more to the younger crowd, um, the millennials like ourselves, um, because everyone here pretty much is, is a millennial. Um, and we want to appeal to them. So that's the idea. It's amazing what just a little bit of marketing can do. Um, so computer central is about to feel it. They're about to feel what a little bit of marketing can do. Like I said, I'm going to write content for Facebook because there, there hasn't been regular Facebook postings. I'm going to write content for the website in the form of articles, right? So we're going to write value articles, uh, for value driven marketing. Uh, we're going to market those articles. We're going to share them on Facebook, do some AB testing on, uh, the different types of marketing, right? So just general, you know, hi, we're computer central. This is what we do versus hi, we're computer central. Read our article on how to pick out the best custom PC for you. So limiting the amount of education we have to do in the store, taking that education and that expertise and putting it in the online space, right? So people can learn before they get here, right? That's value driven marketing. When you're educating someone before they're in front of your face. And that's what I want to create out of this, this, this company. It's what I want to brand, right? I was thinking the other day, one of the most interesting things about Apple, um, in the sense of branding is that they, when was the last time you saw a, a commercial from Apple about their devices, right? They don't make commercials about their devices. They make commercials about the byproduct of their devices, interconnectedness, relationships, you know, um, being closer with your friends and family. And that's what they stand for. But their technology and their devices allows for that to happen. So looking at not only what you provide, but what, what you provide will provide for people instead of just the surface level thing that it is. Right. And so looking a little bit deeper um, and really, you know, discovering what it means to provide what you provide. We'll, we'll discuss more of this stuff in later videos. I have to hop off now. Um, it is 4.43 p.m. I got to take off here soon. Um, but yeah, I will keep you guys posted.